Uh, kwa, kwa sasa hivi uh, awareness au elewa bima kwa wakulima ni mdogo sana nafikiri kwa sababu pia ya uchanga wa bima uh, Tanzania lakini tunashirikiana na dao mbalimbali kwa uh, mfano sasa hivi kuna mabenki mbalimbali ambao wanaotoa mikopo kwa wakulima vile vile sasa wanawasaidia katika mikopo ya ya, ya, ya kwa touch na product ya bima na hiyo ndio sema ambayo pia tunataka kuipush kwa sababu tunataka kuungana pia na, na na jitihada za serikali katika uh, bima kilimo tunajua kwamba Tanzania uh, pato kubwa la taifa linatokana kwenye kilimo lakini katika sekta hiyo ndio ambapo ina penetration ndogo zaidi ya insurance nataka kuangalia jinsi gani tunaweza tukasaidia uh, juhudi za serikali kufikia hizo hizo maeneo uh, tumeshafanya nao kwenye zao moja la tobacco uh, tumeenda kwenye upande wa mahindi na lakini pia tunaendelea kwenye mazao mengine na hasa hasa ukiangalia kwa mfano kwa wakulima wa tobako walikuwa wana shida kubwa sana ya uh, wanaita ni mvua ya mawe uh, lakini kwa bima ambayo tulio nayo wale ambao watakutwa na majanga ya namna hiyo wanaenda kupata suluhu la ufunguzi na namna gani walizokuwa na bima hii hasa hasa inathibitisha uh, kile mtu anachotarajia kukivuna kwa kama ulitarajia kuvuna uh, gunia kumi kwa mfano ukavuna gunia nne then unaweza ukakompensatiwa kiasi fulani cha kile ambacho umekipoteza faida ambayo zamani walikuwa hawaipati au ilikuwa ni ngumu kwa sababu kwa range bima za namna hii kwa mtu mmoja mmoja zina gharama yake uh, lakini kwa kuwa tuko pamoja kwenye upande wetu wa benki vikundi walivonavyo kwenye hawa watu wa bima wa, wa, wa kulima wanaweza kunufaika na uwepo wa UAP tunaweza kuwafikia kiasi zaidi Tanzania the analysis says Tanzania has got very low insurance penetration so you can choose to look at it in two ways. You can say it's low penetration, it means there is no hope. Or you say low penetration means there is more potential to catch up with everybody else who consumes these services across the world. I choose to think there is lots of opportunity. There is nothing that is very different that happens in Tanzania from the rest of the continent and from the rest of the world. People own properties, people own, they have individual possessions. And loss of those things can cause significant dent in the personal finances and or even the corporate finances of our customers. That's where insurance comes in. And yeah, I think there is a lot of room to travel for Tanzania to catch up with the rest of the continent. We have Company, countries like South Africa, where I'm coming from, where the insurance penetration, if you look at premiums as a percentage of GDP, is about 16%. In Tanzania, it is only 0.6%. Uh, 